everyone. Welcome to Linda's Thrifty Life. It is Smile Saturday and I wanted to share with you the wonderful friend mail I got yesterday from Alicia at Alicia's Crafty Hop Lob. She sent me this t-shirt. She said to cheer me up. I think it's part of my birthday present and look at it. It says, who gives a flock? A flying flock. Wait, I have to read it correctly. With a flamingo. I love it. It's very lightweight cotton. It's so comfortable. Thank you, Alicia. You know I love it. Okay. Look at this hair. Look how long it is. I, I honestly cannot remember the last time my hair was this long. And now with this new <laughs> she quarantined and shut down, it's, it's just going to get longer unless unless I can talk my daughter into cutting my hair. <laughs> so, it will not... I, I just washed it and <clears throat> walked out to the mailbox, and it almost dried it. That's how hot it is. And so I thought I would just show you how long it is, because, you know, mostly it's in ponytails, pigtails, on top of my head, and it will continue to be that way. <laughs> so I hope you're all having a wonderful Saturday. There's so much going on in our community with um, Halloween um, collaborations, Christmas collaborations. Um, the next Saturday Smile will be the Christmas collabor Christmas in July collaboration that um, Elsa and uh, I are doing with a bunch of our friends. And I'm excited. I'll talk to you again about that on Friday. And um, it's just going to be so fun. We need to get that. Ah, oh, Christmas spirit, I think, even if it is hot and in July. And the Halloween, I, I don't do a lot of Halloween, but I really like Halloween. And I love seeing all the crafts that everyone is making. Okay, so, in addition to this amazing t-shirt, and if you remember, that's the same saying that um, was on the bag that my daughter Sarah bought me for my birthday. I don't give a flying flock. That needs to be my new <laughs> motto, I think. But I receive two very sweet and unexpected um, e um, emails, packages in, in the mail today. So one is from my very sweet friend, California Karen. And um, if you don't know her, I will leave her link below. She's a fairly new blog uh, blogger. Okay, can you tell it's Saturday? A fairly new YouTuber, and she does crafting and hauls and just all sorts of things. Lots of giveaways. She's really a sweetheart. So, look at what she said. And it says, Linda, I made some of my quilling flowers special for you, California Karen. Oh, Karen, look at these, because I had admired these quilled flowers. These are beautiful. And she sent me this whole bag, I mean, this little thing full of them. So I'm going to pour them out. <gasps> They're just gorgeous. Look at this. These are so pretty. I can hardly wait to use these. I love the colors and the bling in the middle. I have never done this, and I'm not sure I have the patience to quill. Aren't these pretty? Oh, look at this. That's a real dark green and a pink. Oh, these are so pretty. Oh, look, this looks like Mardi Gras. Woohoo! I love it. Oh, and then a rainbow one. Ah, oh, sweet. Thank you so much. I know that was a lot of work, and I appreciate it so much, Karen. And um, thank you. Just thank you. And then, another California friend, Callie, Life on the Fly, who is Teresa. She sent me a package, and I was like, what is Teresa sending me? So, let's see what the card says. With a thankful heart. Oh, that's a pretty card. She said, love your channel. Think of these as a late birthday gift. Hugs, Callie, life on the fly. Hope you like these. Happy crafting, Teresa. Well, what have you made, Teresa? 
Let's see. Oh my gosh. Okay. Look at that. She made me a mask with the flamingos. Oh my gosh. Okay. I got to try it on. Y'all haven't seen me with a mask very often, have you? Let's see if I can get it on my my. Oh, it's so comfy and cute. I love it. I love it. And not only did she send me one with the pink flamingos, but she sent another one. Look at how beautiful these are with this flowered. Oh, you know pink is my favorite and flamingos. Thank you so much. I, I just... I'm stunned at, at your generosity and kindness towards me, everybody. I really am. It's not, you know, these ladies and, and everyone that takes the time to watch my channel and leave a comment and encouraging words to me. I just appreciate it so very much. So, I would be remiss today if I didn't talk a little bit about um, the civil rights leader that... Um, has passed away, um, John Lewis. He is from Georgia, Atlanta. Um, he, um, you know, had a, a, a very full and long life fighting for peaceful, peacefully fighting for civil rights. He was, um, you know, a friend of Martin Luther King, and, and he has worked his whole life for, um, for equal rights and, um, Black Lives Matter, and just, you know, always been there, and uh, a really wonderful man, well-liked by a lot of presidents and a lot of important, influential people. And he had been fighting pancreatic cancer, and he passed away at the age of 80. So, um, thank you for a job well done, and uh, rest in peace. And then, on a happier note, <laughs> um, I am going to be working on some cards. Um, we have a lot of ladies in um, this crafting community that are sick. We have some some um, YouTube friends that have COVID. We have some um, a friend that just had um, a heart attack and had open heart surgery, and some other friends that just have some really debilitating illnesses. And, um, you know, this time of stress just will, you know, make things worse for a lot of these people with ongoing chronic illnesses. There isn't a lot that we can do sometimes, but just even just a little card, you know, is an uplifting message. I mean, think of how happy this and these really sweet, you know, quilled flowers made me. And, um... I just want to make some cards. So if any of you are interested in making a card or even just sending a store bought card, you know, it really doesn't matter. It's it's it truly is the thought and what people are, are thinking of you during these rough times. Um, if you're interested, I um, just leave me a message or contact me at uh, my email, Linda's Thrifty Life at gmail.com. It's all one word. No apostrophe, Linda's Thrifty Life. And um, I will let you know some of the people that could use some cards and some uplifting. And since I can't get to the post office, that is something that I can do. And so I'm going to be working on that this weekend. It is a beautiful day, but it is hot, hot, hot. I know a lot of you are having heat where you are. Um... My kids and my grands are real busy this weekend. They are trying to get the final work done on their um, house that they uh, need to sell. Um, they moved right before Christmas into a new house and then were working on the... Well, no, they moved right after Christmas. Excuse me. They moved after Christmas. That's right. We had one last Christmas at, at the uh, other house. And, um, and then COVID-19 hit and they just haven't, you know been able to get workmen or anybody and uh, couldn't put the house on the market. So they really need to do that because they've been paying a couple of mortgages for hmm, six months. <laughs> so, whoops. <laughs> um, you know, they're hanging in there, but they are ready to get that house up for sale. And hopefully it will sell and, and 
they will be okay. So, um, it's a busy weekend for them. I'm going to stay inside in the cool air conditioning and I am going to um, craft. I have uh, some computer help I need to do with my mom. We're looking for a freezer, an upright freezer. Hers died right before <laughs> COVID hit and she is a woman who like who has always had a freezer for as long as I can remember and she does not like just the freezer of the refrigerator. She's um she's a depression baby and uh if any of you have uh depression baby mamas then you know that that they they like to stockpile food and uh and I, everyone that I've met has been like that. So I'm trying to keep her in control and I'm doing a pretty good job, but we do need a freezer because both of us just have tiny little freezers and, and, um, and since, especially since we're not, um, going in the stores, we're just doing pickup shopping. We're, we're trying, it would be nice to be able to, um, have a freezer. So we will be doing that this afternoon. That was a long, <laughs> that was a long <laughs> bunch of words to tell you that mom and I are going to be looking for a freezer. There are none to be found. We have been looking for months. They are completely sold out everywhere as soon as COVID-19 hit. And now we are hearing that if we order one online, we might get it by October. So we're just going to see what we can do and, and do our best. <clears throat> Excuse me. Me in my froggy throat. I feel better today. I finally got a really, really good night's sleep. Um, I slept really late, but I had a good night's sleep. And um, I can feel I have a little more oomphy energy today so I will put it to good use making crafts and um, watching videos later on while I make my crafts and I wish all of you a great weekend and thank you so much for visiting me and um, tell me something that that has made you smile this week we all need some uplifting <laughs> So tell me something that has made you smile this week. For me, it was definitely um, spending time with my grandkids when I hadn't seen them in three weeks. And then these sweet, sweet packages today just really touched my heart. And my t-shirt. I love it. I love it. So thank you all. And um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.